Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I actually have to feed a bunch of snakes today, but it's not gonna be your normal feeding video. We're gonna start with my girl Perdita here. Of course, she is ready to roll for sure. The last couple days she's been kind of searching. She shed out recently. Here you go, sweetheart. Oh, there you go. What a beautiful girl. And the reason I say it's not gonna be normal is yes, we're gonna be feeding some snakes, but I just wanna kinda of talk to you guys. You know, I mean, I think some people uh, wanna kinda of get a little bit of inspiration and I wanna give you that inspiration. I love that type of stuff. Talk about like things that are going on in 2020. 2019 was an incredible year, but it was a different year for me. I'm not gonna to lie to you. 2020, we have so many initiatives, none bigger than the expansion of the Reptarium. But uh, so I'm gonna to try to inspire you guys to continue following your dreams because uh, that's what I've been doing for the last 30 plus years and uh, sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't but uh, we'll go ahead and let her eat real quick and uh, get another rodent and keep on feeding. Other than the fact that I'm always happy to jabber about reptiles here you go buddy here you go night fury is so amazing uh, I also love talking to you guys about like uh, inspiration again you know trying to push you guys out of your comfort zone telling you all the uh, ups and downs and you know I share ups and downs with you guys a lot and I'll be honest with you sometimes it's to my detriment right because sometimes people use the negative stuff that happens to me that I share with you guys because it's not all perfect all the time and they'll say like oh things are always going wrong with Brian the truth is is that most things work out but some things don't and that's part of business you know you can't really let that hold you back you got to always push forward listen the rest Reptarium here has done so well the last 12 months. And I've talked to you guys about the fact that when we opened up, I didn't even know if anyone was gonna show up. It's been amazingly successful. Now, a smart business guy might think, hey, stay where you're at, just kind of ride it out, it's been going good. What do I do? Uh, I decide to spend all the money and then some that I've made on the Reptarium last year and uh, do this expansion. But you know, it's again, it's about doing something that you love and kind of the vision and the happiness that it's gonna bring you by actually doing it. And then, you know, hopefully that old saying, you know, do what you love and the money will follow you know that usually does work out and if it doesn't the experience was certainly worth it <laughs> All right. So we have a package bark box. I know I'm kind of excited. Do you I think, think it's it might for, the be for the dogs? Doggies. This is from Robin. So what do we have here? Uh, we got a card first. Please enjoy the custom made ornaments for the Reptarium. All the best holidays, Robin and Tom. Thank you guys. Custom made ornaments. Oh. Cool. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? <laughs> oh, Beth has one, Lori, Andrea, Jay, even Jay has one, Kelsey, oh, Kelsey has one. <laughs> Danny, Brian, Noah, Eric, Jessica, Mary, Bruce. They got them all. Got everybody. That these are so super cool. cool. So these are obviously uh, custom burned, which is cool that even the edges are burned yeah. and stuff like that. That is so dope. <laughs> the dogs are a little disappointed. I think they thought something was for them. <laughs> yeah, they thought they were getting it. <laughs> That's thank, okay. Thank you guys so much. This These is are awesome. awesome. Oh I my love gosh. that. I love how they got the little logo on it and everything. I know. It turned out cool. awesome. So we'll, uh, we'll give these to all the crew, obviously, yeah. and hang these up hang uh, on, the on the tree at the Reptarium. So nice. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Oh my gosh, look at how absolutely adorable that is. Normally this little monkey here only eats it when I drop it on the ground, but she took it right out of my hands this time. That's absolutely adorable. So let's go ahead and just break down before we get into anything else, what 2020 is gonna mean to me. And uh, I've said this a while ago that uh, I feel like 2019 was a year off. And, and by that I mean I worked super hard, but I didn't really create anything new and different. I was just kind of fulfilling the things that I really set in motion in 2018. 2020, obviously, first and foremost, you guys know, we're doing a huge expansion for the Reptarium, doubling it, breaking out this wall, doing all those enclosures. It's going to be pretty amazing. We're going to be heading down to Texas in just a couple weeks to finish out the build. Then it comes up and we start to install. Crazy. I think actually less than a week from now that wall gets busted out. We'll take you guys along on the entire journey of building it out and how it goes. And hopefully it will be a huge success. Beyond that, we're hoping that there's a chance we might open up one or two Reptariums over in China. I've talked 
talked about it before, but you know what? It's a governmental thing over there, not as easy to do. We're partnered up with a company. That might be really cool. Definitely gonna be doing a lot more traveling when it comes to collaborations. You guys will see me back on David Dobrik's vlogs and a bunch of other people's videos. Wanna definitely get on the road and do some more stuff as well as be on the road to show you some other cool animal adventures. And we're really hoping to have that reboot on Animal Bites TV this year for sure. With any luck, again, it's gonna be kind of like an animal planet for the internet. You know, we're hoping we can do real high-end production, little mini TV shows, not just with me as a host, but other people as a host. I've already talked to a few people I think you guys are gonna love. Don't wanna get too much into it because we don't wanna spill the beans, but if we're so lucky to have it happen, uh, by mid-2020, you guys will start rolling out and seeing the Animal Bites channel re kind of surgeons. By the way, if you guys don't know it, I do have another channel, Animal Bites TV. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, follow that if you'd like. Regardless, I haven't been posting there in a long time, but uh, but that's gonna reboot hopefully in 2020. My whole point with these types of conversations that I have for you guys is that don't be afraid to follow your dreams. You know I mean? Doing what you love and following it through, the worst that's gonna happen. Here you go. Oh yeah. The worst thing that's gonna happen is that it's not gonna work out. But at least you tried, right? I mean, listen, a lot of what I try doesn't work out, but that doesn't stop me from continuing to push forward and going through things. I mean, everyone knows I'm an idea guy. By the time I'm finishing up one idea, I've already got another idea in the works. And and listen, a lot of times they're crazy. And a lot of times after I've gone through and it didn't work out, I look back and I think, what was I even thinking? That was a silly idea. But I really want to try to encourage you guys to follow the things that you really love whether you want to open up a business you know just enjoy your life a little more have an additional hobby or you know expand yourself in your workplace whatever it is you know step out and do things that are amazing because when you do that it really does fulfill your life a tremendous amount saw something kind of interesting on the internet you know half the things you see on the internet don't work but uh need a bottle of water put it in the freezer set my timer for 20 minutes and you know, the road to where you want to go oftentimes isn't paved very well. Uh, kind of like the roads in Detroit, quite frankly. Some of the worst road systems in the country for sure. But the fact is, is that you've got to be willing to take those bumps, you know? I mean, it's like, that's kind of part of the journey. You know, sometimes, I'll be honest with you, when things work out too well, it's almost like it feels like uh, it wasn't worth it. When, when things are a little bumpy and like, oh my God, how am I going to get through this? Uh, it almost is cooler when you finally get to your point. And I'm just switching males into females' cages right now, seeing if anything's breeding. And again, this is a perfect example of like working hard every single day, making sure that you're doing all the things that you're supposed to do. You know, there are days, guys, that I want to just kind of chill out. You know, not many of them. I'll be totally honest with you. I usually want to work, but every now and then I go like, gosh, you know, can I just please have a day off? Again, to be successful, you're not going to be able to kind of take a, a, ooh, this one's locked too. Or, oh, no, it's not quite locked yet. So we have a few things breeding in here. This is actually a brand new male. It's actually a pin red stripe yellow belly. Really cool male there. Uh, That's the first time I've seen some courtship action from him. He's not actually breeding, but he's almost breeding, which is the kind of sign because young males sometimes have that go through. But the point is, is like, you know, breeding season, if you're not switching your males and you're not doing the hard work, you're not going to be successful, right? And that's the thing is like, it's all about putting the work in. And that's why if you do something you really love, the work isn't hard, right? Because you would do it even if it was your hobby, right? Everything I'm doing is basically things that I love to do anyways. You know, I wake up in the morning and I can't wait to work with animals. So uh, being coming in here and working on a day that maybe I feel like I'd like to just chill out, it's not that bad because I'm doing something that I really love. And that's really what I continue to talk about is find the things that you really love to do and go after them. Again, I gotta make sure I'm not messing these males up because as I'm talking to you guys, I'm distracting myself. And, and of course, next thing I know, I'm gonna be putting the wrong male in the wrong female's cage, which then uh, Mary's gonna yell at me. So we don't wanna do that for sure. But when you find something that you're really passionate about and that you really love, you're willing to put the energy into it. Again, it doesn't seem like hard work. And this next year is gonna be an amazing year for us. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know that the amount of energy and hard work that we're gonna put in this year is going to really dictate some amazing results and uh and that's what you have to do you know i mean you know new year new beginnings right i've always said that i don't really think that december 31st is any different than january 1st uh you put the time in every single day but you know for a lot of people that new beginning of a new year is an opportunity for you to kind of start fresh to do things that you're going to be super excited about i've said this a ton of times that a vision is an opportunity so if you have a vision to do something Thing, 
this is your time to do it, right? This is the time to come back and say, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take that initiative and I'm gonna do something and you know what? Hey, listen, again, although I may not look at a new year any different than any other day, much like the weekend, right? You know, seven days a week is where I live. So it doesn't matter what day it is or what time of the year is, but hey, let's make 2020 the best banger of a year we possibly can. Holy moly. Look at the size of that Emmy beam right there. Look, it's like twice the size of the other one. That, uh, yeah. Okay, we're moving on. Okay, guys, what do we have here? That is a water bottle. Water a bottle. Water. Bottle of water, could be vodka. Shut up. Full of ice. Oh my God, it's frozen. Dude, I told you about that. Remember like a few years ago and you said I was an idiot. <gasps> Oh! <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh. Is it cold, dude? Oh, yeah, that was cold. Ooh, it's hot. It's real water. It's not vodka. So let's go ahead and just talk about those road bumps because, you know, again, I always want to tell you guys the good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, so, you know, listen, from the podcast room that we we're building out that got pushed off because we're doing the Rep Terum thing, but but by the way, we are starting a podcast. We're going to start doing it probably here at the Rep Terum. Then we'll build the podcast room here in another couple months. Uh, checking in is going to be the name. I'll put a link in the description to that. I've got to get to 10,000 subscribers before we can run ads on it, which will help kind of recuperate all the money I'm investing. So uh, please go down in the description. I'll pin a comment as well uh give that a follow if you don't mind but uh but you know that got kind of pushed off and hey speaking about the rep terum you don't even want to know what happened to get that building because that didn't work out well at all we were in whoo come here sunrise here we go baby whoa geez <laughs> well, that was a nightmare. Let me tell you, I, again, I don't even want to get into it, but trust me, it was really good. And then you got, you know, the rep terms over in China, I've talked about. The fact is, is that the government over there is really difficult. So we're working on permit processes. It may or may not happen. Those are road bumps you just kind of, kind of go through and that's all part of it, right? And then there's animal bites. I've been talking about the fact that we want to do that. You know, well, it's going to take a ton of money to actually launch what we want to launch because we want to send film crews along with the talent to go out and actually make these things just like a TV show. Well, that takes a tremendous amount of investment. Not to mention you want the business side to run extremely well if you're gonna invest that kind of money. So that just takes time. You know, All these things are kind of part of making these things come through. These were visions, an opportunity that I took that I wanted to move forward with. That doesn't mean that it's gonna move forward easily. It just means that we're gonna to have to work through those road bumps because that's just how business is. And quite honestly, there's a chance that some of those things that I'm really excited about in 2020 may not even come through because the road bumps might get to the point where we say it's just not worth the hassle. This is from Selena and AJ from Texas. They've been literally supporting the vlog since day one. I mean, you guys are amazing. Love you guys. Uh, so they sent us something. And yeah, they always call themselves the Texas Checkies. So I appreciate you guys beyond the, the belief. Checkies. And again, they've been huge supporters for since we started. So thank you guys for sticking with me for like so a long. Pretty big box. Yeah, it looks like a big box if that means anything. Um. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! It's hey. <laughs> awesome. Wait, I think it opened. It's a card. Yeah. Oh, it opened. It's just like, ah, oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I thought it was just like a, yeah, All right, whatever. Let's see what it, oh, okay, wow. Okay, so. Just wanted to say thank you for being such an inspiration to us. We're excited about the direction our lives are headed, and it's because of you in the vlog. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we are a husband and wife team, too, and watching you, Lori, makes us feel like we can achieve our dreams. Thank you for always helping us start our days on a positive note. AJ and Selena. Thank You're you welcome. guys so much. Brian. Okay. <laughs> what do we got? Wow, we get actual. Oh, oh this just Noah. said Brian and Lori. <laughs> Here, this you can have this though. You can have this. There you go. Here. Wow. Here's a hand warmer. Oh, it's a Steve Irwin one. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. And then, and of course, look at the heck, right? Oh, that's Steve, cute. I, I love this shirt. You kidding me? That is you'll cool. Be, you'll be seeing me wear this shirt a ton. So thank you so much. What do you got? Coffee cup. Donut, Donut, Donut kill. kill my vibe. Donut kill my vibe. I like, I like that. I like that. What's what do this? we have here? Oh, another one. Caution. Uh, uh, it says caution. I know. That's why I'm gonna do it. Whoa! Candles. Birthday cake candle. Say what? Oh, sweet. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is great. I, I love it's candles. Smell amazing. Yeah. You know, there's nothing like smelling a fresh candle on a Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. But it's not Wednesday. It's not Wednesday though. That smell. Whoa! There's Ooh. actual sprinkles in it. Oh, that smells good. I know. You this smell is that? actually pretty awesome. Whoa! I think I want a spoon and just eat it. I know. <sighs> that is it smells like icing. Guys. 
That just well, makes me happy. <laughs> well, thank wow. you. Thank you, AJ, Selena. Thank you for everyone that sends thank us stuff. So we really appreciate you guys. The address is in the description. You guys can check it out. Uh, you guys spoil us. We love you to death. So uh, there it is. Thank you, guys. God bless. Pickles is amazing. Come on, Pickles. Right there. Uh, there it is. <laughs> I tell you guys, you guys know I love reading about you, interacting with you in the comments. Let me know down in the comments, like what is the dream thing that you want to do? What do you see your vision for the future being? I would like to hear about it. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to help you guys in some way. So don't go down in the comments. Let me know what you want to do and step out, you know, do it. You know what I mean? I know it's a scary thing to take that first step and do something that maybe you've been thinking about for a long time. But you know what's even scarier is that when you think I want to do something and then you don't, and you see someone else succeeding in what you wanted to do. That's a horrible feeling. I don't want that to happen to you guys. I certainly don't want it to happen to me. So in the comments, let me know what that is. And uh, who knows, maybe together we'll do something awesome. Jeffrey is definitely another animal that's getting a nice four foot cage to start with and then it'll move up to a six foot and eventually even an eight foot cage. But that's a beautiful snake, Burmese. Tame as could be, might be an aggressive feeder, but tame as could be, love to take this guy out. So it's gonna be cool to have him in a larger enclosure so that uh, he gets a little bit more room to stretch out, number one, and number two, people can see him and take him out even more. I mentioned that I'm probably gonna put a couple blackheads on display in a really large environment and Crackle may be one of them. I think like a real rocky crevice cage. We've already had it designed out. I think it's gonna be really cool. I hope I can cohabitate maybe a pair in there. You have to be careful because they are snake eaters. I don't want anything to happen, but Crackle and maybe Pop in there together might be a cool display. We'll see how it goes, uh, but we're gonna have to keep an eye on them. First time I'm actually gonna offer salt and pepper actual full grown mice. On oh, station, station. There you go, girl. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, she loves it. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. What are you doing coming out to see dad? What are you doing, honey? Did you like that mouse? Whoa, jeez. Hoo hoo. Again, another ambush on me there. It kind of came out of nowhere. But uh, I tell you, guys, that's it. That's the end of the feeding here, and that's the end of the kind of inspirational vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope together we can make 2020 absolutely amazing. Again, I look forward to reading all about your dreams and aspirations down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and you like feeding videos, here's another feeding video up here. Here's an entire playlist that you can roll through and watch all kinds of feeding stuff. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. Turn the post notifications on if you don't mind. Have an absolutely wonderful day and be kind to somebody. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.